Hey, it's Jabo. Welcome to Brigzar, your home for vintage Lego. Now, I'm not going to be doing these organization videos every day. I'm just going to kind of give you an update again. And the main reason I've been doing these the last three videos is because I haven't been working. <laughs> so I've had some time off from work. And so I, I, I could make better use of my time, perhaps. But some of this stuff really needs to get done. So... We're going to go over some of the things I've done since the last video. And I didn't get anything in the mail today, so we had to go buy stuff. Um, but mainly, it was related to what we're doing. So one of the things that I did is I had a box of parts that I had taken out of my BrickLink store a few years ago. <laughs> and I took it with me up to um, Brick, uh, Philly BrickFest. And I was my goal was to make a Brickista... I can't say it, Brachistochrone, Brachistochrone <laughs> slope, but I just couldn't get it to work, and I, it was too last minute, and yeah, so it never worked, but uh, I had all these parts that I never used, so I've put those back in the store, I had to recount them, some of them I had to mark as used because they got used, some of the ones that I never used that were still in the bags, uh, they went back into the new lots, but uh, <laughs> the... Uh, so that, that freed up one box. Now I didn't, well, I did film a little bit of the box, but anyway, yeah, it freed up a box uh, that I wrote down. So one box, one shelf <laughs> at a time, we're going to get this organized. So another thing I'm doing is we're working on the white shelves that you see in a lot of the videos. And that led to this thing from Hobby Lobby. So people are always asking me where I get the display for things like Lego, smaller Lego sets, and they don't have the ones at Hobby Lobby that they used to. They used to come in a box, and they used to have a mirrored bottom that you could put, but now they don't. They just come in this cellophane-wrapped stuff. It's a beveled edge display case by Interest Collecting. I think it was a different brand. I guess they don't carry that brand. Brand, brand. I can feel the my voice acts like a speaker brand uh, but anyway sorry I got distracted again uh, yeah these aren't as good as I think as the other ones I'm going to see we'll take them over there to the shelves in a second and see if they're the same size so this is the $14.99 one other thing is you used to could get a 40% off coupon for one item and what I would do is I would go in the store and buy just buy one of these or the one that was in the box at 40% off, but now they don't have that deal anymore. And I don't know if they ever put these on sale. So I had to pay the ridiculous price for these. All right, here's one of the smaller ones. This one was $7.99. And I, got, I think I got three of those. These will hold one of the large vehicle sets uh, that Lego made back in the 60s and 70s. So I got three of those, $7.99 each. It was the large one. I got another large one, $14.99. And then the long one, I think this one was $12.99. Yeah, this one was $12.99. So Hobby Lobby, that's the store in the US uh, that sells these things. And then we're gonna go over there to where the shelves are that we've been working on today. All right, so the long one, it's like these. Now this is this appears to be it is the same size, maybe a little bit longer than those. I like these better. These are I just think those are better. I'm a little disappointed. This was the biggest one I saw today when I went. It's actually quite a bit smaller than those. And these were $14.99. This is $14.99, and it's it's a lot smaller. It will still work for some of the vehicles. Here's how I got some of them displayed. I might can take some that are the smaller vehicles and use. So, I mean, they're, they're still usable, but it's not as big as these big ones here. Um, yeah. And then let's see if how this compares. Uh, so, is that a long one? Oh, yeah. Here's the... Get one of these. Yeah, it's about the same. Yeah, that'll work there. All right. Uh-oh, don't drop, don't drop. Oh, got it. So these are the shelves that are behind me in a lot of the videos. We've started with this one, reorganized it. We added a shelf and we're gonna do it for 
the three shelves here are going to add one shelf. One of these I may add two. And well, let me just come over here and show you what I've done. First thing we did was take a lot of stuff and throw it on the table. <laughs> Move your messes from one place to another. So kind of give you an example. This shelf hasn't been adjusted yet and it was identical as far as the shelves. So we raised this one up a notch, raised this one up like three or four notches, then raised, put a shelf here, added a shelf. This one's the fixed shelf. And then I lowered that one a little bit. This is the one we added. It's actually a little bit too big for the shelf, but it's hard to notice down there. So I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. Now what I ended up doing, I put the castle down here, I'm, or the castles, I think I'm going to move them off to the side somewhere or put them in a different place because what I did with my large vehicle sets, I got them in these display cases like that, and I wanted to mirror it. So I wanted to do this setup over here on these. So I'm going to move all of this stuff out. I'll reuse these for large vehicle stuff like that. I may move some of this stuff if it'll fit. Actually, that may not fit in the smaller case. I'm going to have to see what'll fit in the smaller cases that I just bought. Uh, but this is great because it keeps the dust off. And I got a lot more of these sets that I need to, to finish building. But yeah, it works pretty good for these. I like it. Can't, the way I got it displayed, you can't see all of them, but close enough it's close enough this worked pretty good here i think uh, yeah so i'm gonna do the same thing over here and then find a different place for the the castles and then this shelf one of the new ones is the tipper truck army chef uh, i got room for a little bit more here i need to make that bionicle tipper <laughs> uh, but we put our tipper trucks here i don't think i'm ever going to take these out and use i'm probably may not bring this to the show either uh, that's the new the, the that's the sealed one that well it's not sealed anymore the one that i opened from a sealed box that's my original one and then i got some of the different boxes got a sealed box a couple of op three open boxes and two sealed boxes there and then some of the customs uh, that people made or that i made uh, the next shelf up is the thomas and friends shelf i got room to put something there uh, this is just the way I did it for now. I did take a lot of things off of here. Uh, we got the knockoff brand. What is it called? Lose. <laughs> I think it's supposed to, you're supposed to say Lies. I call it Lose. Lose Bricks. Um, I wish Lego made stuff like this. I mean, they actually look pretty good. They're terribly... The quality, I mean, not the quality of the bricks. The quality of the build is pretty bad on some of these. Emily was a pain to build. All right, and then we got a Duplo, a modified Duplo Thomas. <laughs> uh, I forget, this is like nano blocks type stuff. My Six Flags Thomas, because I worked at Six Flags. Then we go up the next shelf. This is They Might Be Bricks Tron shelf. We shrunk it a little bit. We may add some LED lights to some of these to kind of give it a glow. It'd be cool if this had the, like the Tron blue or orange uh, changing back and forth here. I think that would be pretty cool. But yeah, that's the Tron shelf. Uh, the next one is primarily Bill and Ted with a little uh, Wayne and Garth <laughs> there. I think they fit. And so we got a little room to grow or maybe add a few things here if we want to. But yeah, clean that up. So this is the first one, the first shelf that we've kind of organized. So the next thing is I got to start on this one. So we got I got to remove some of the stuff off of here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this shelf up. I think... Most of this stuff will work. I'm probably going to put this, I want to put this truck in a display case if I can. Uh, it may come off of the top shelf here. I need to organize the minifigures and sig figs that are up here. And things like that. And then I need to make, oh man, there's some, <laughs> there's some uh, remnants of tipper trucks that I made. There's t uh, Crow, Tom Servo. I need to put those somewhere more prominent. Um... Yeah, this, this whole shelf's a, a, a big mess, convoluted mess here. Already cleared that one off, and then I'm going to move that. So, yeah, I'm going to make try to make these identical. So, like, raise this shelf up to where everything matches here. May do the same thing with that one, too. Uh, 
Yeah, because you got all that space above the tumbler, even above this. I'm probably going to take these, uh, well, the YouTube, not my YouTube water bottle thingy, um, take my slot cars off of there as well. And I think, yeah, that truck will, if, if I raise that shelf, the, the big black cat truck will still fit there. And then on top we have stuff, and I'm going to take all the Yoda stuff, and it's going to go to a different part of the basement. Uh, may re rearrange what sits are up here. Might even put the Titanic up here. Just depends. The Titanic may go upstairs. Just trying to decide what we want to do with that. I should see if the Legoland California truck will fit in the smaller case. I think it's going to be a little bit too long, uh, but we will. Yeah, I will try it. Uh, I should mention you can also display it sideways like this if you got a model that's straight up like that. So let's see if this will fit. Oh, it's going to be close. It might work. It just might work. Oh, and you know what I could do? So that Lego Land California truck, there's also the yellow one. The yellow one would fit right here in the front. Oh, that's so much better. So that was overkill with that other box. So this is... Oh, I'm glad I got this now. Oh, very good. And these are all the uh, extra parts <laughs> from the uh, Legoland. Oh, look. It's got the instructions on how to use the sticker. See page 3 of the order form in the Holiday 98 Shop at Home catalog. That's where the, the design we got for the truck. That's, instructions are in that catalog. Right there in the sticker, though, came with the Legoland California truck. Probably should put that Star Trek um, set somewhere else. This should just be Batman. Uh, also, they might be Giants. Coffee mug needs to go somewhere else. Uh, since that Legoland California truck fit in the smaller one, I may try to put this Toys R Us truck in one of the smaller containers as well. Save the big ones for the large vehicle sets. So that's a quick up, was, was it quick? I don't know if it was quick, but that's an update of what I'm doing to get these shelves organized. I, I haven't forgot about the other ones. It does seem like I'm going back and forth between things, but we wanted to go ahead and build the shelves since I do have the shelf over there. I went actually to Lowe's today and bought another shelf for the one that's over beside the cherry wood shelves. And I'm gonna start working on the instructions, getting those organized. Uh, but yeah, it's like I'm making bigger messes <laughs> But in the long run, it's going to be cleaner. I really, one of the things, like I have all the, the sig figs and other minifigures. It's like I need to have a display case for those. Maybe not on here. So I don't like dust and stuff getting on those. And I got so many of them. Right now, there's probably a hundred sig figs put away in a drawer <laughs> or a container. And it's like I need to organize those. I actually need to label them because some of them are so old, I, I don't remember who they are. Uh, I hate I hate forgetting you know the, there's e there's ones that are easy to remember <laughs> uh, because they they're still active in the community but some of the older ones um, yeah I don't remember who they are I just remember that they're not Lego figures from a set they're actually a custom sig fig that somebody made uh, from various parts but anyway all right so that's where I'm at um, thanks for watching this video I'm going to keep working on this going to keep adding parts to the store one shelf one box one drawer at a time and we'll eventually get this basement uh, organized i hope <laughs> so you got oh yeah different shirt every day this is this is uh fruit of the looms dark red it's three dollars <laughs> see ya